Hey, how's everybody doing today? So today I'm going to introduce you guys to a iDisk. Now, what exactly is an iDisk? Well, an iDisk basically is a external storage device. It's basically a thumb drive, except with this one here, you can connect it directly to your iPhone, your iOS device and transfer all of your data, your photos, videos, music, music documents from your iPhone directly onto your iDisk and vice versa. You can move it from your iDisk to your iOS device. You can also do this. Once all your photos and documents and every, everything is in this iDisk, you can go to your MacBook or your Windows PC, plug it in there and transfer all the data from your iDisk to your computer and also vice versa. You can move it from your computer onto your iDisk, okay? Now this one here is by Olala. Oh this is the 64 gig version. You can also see from the USB port here, but they also come with a 32 gig version. And you can record directly. Basically, you can record video and take photos and it can record, save it on your iDisk directly. And it is USB 3.0, so this transfer speed is quite fast. And I'll give you a demonstration of uh, transferring 4K footage on here. So what do you do with this? Well, let's go ahead and take out the lightning cord. Let me go ahead and go into my iPhone here. Let me plug it in. Now the thing is the first time you plug this in, it's going to ask you to download iDisk me. Just click on accept and it'll take you right to the app store. You download it. Now every time you, then after that, every time you plug it in, it's going to ask you to allow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just allow it. And this is what the interface looks like. So basically I have my iPhone here, all my iPhone storage, and I have my iDisk here. And here you can move your photos, videos, music, documents. Uh, you can even go to camera mode and take photos and videos and save it directly onto your iDisk. Another cool thing is too is the settings here. You can set a password or a touch ID, basically like a, a fingerprint or a thumbprint, if you if you want to put security on this um, your iDisk device. Okay, I don't have any security set up on mine. Anyways, let's do this. Let me go into iPhone here. And let's move a photo and a video. So let me go into my camera roll here. And let's say I wanted to, um, now I'm gonna click on edit. And then let's do this. Here is 4K footage right here. It's a minute and 21 seconds. And I'm also gonna move, transfer this photo too. So I got two files here I'm gonna transfer. And then once you select the files, you go down here on the bottom, there's a copy button here. So tap on that. And now I'm moving it from my iPhone to my iDisk. Now I'm gonna tap on my iDisk here. And from here I can make a new folder or I can paste it right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it right here. Give it a second. Remember this is a one minute and 21 second 4K footage. So that's about half a gig, about 500 megabytes probably. And, and I'm also gonna show you how you can take photos or even videos directly um, and it'll save automatically to your iDisk. So this is something that's great, especially if you're traveling or something like that, you know, rather than always having to transfer, you know, to get more space available on your iPhone, you know, setting up the computer and this and that. It's a lot easier if you have something like this and you can move everything over to your, uh, your iDisk. It's a lot faster, it's more efficient, okay? So basically, I just basically moved those files to my iDisk. So what do I gotta do? Let me go into my iDisk now. Let me see if it transfers my iDisk. And there you go. Here's that photo that I transferred. And you can see that four gig footage. It was one minute and 21 seconds. It's 486 megabytes. So yeah, it's about 500 megabytes. That's a half a gig. And it did transfer pretty quick. And let's do this. Let's go ahead. And, let me go into camera here. And what you can do here when you're on camera, of course, you can record a video or you can take a photo. Let me just go ahead and take a photo. And then right from here, what we can do, let me click on OK, is this will save it directly onto the iDisk. You only want to do this basically if your internal memory on your iPhone is already uh, full. So basically, let me click on Cancel here. And then if I go into my iDisk here, and I click on Camera, and here is the photo that I just took. And from here, what I can do too is I can click the Share. Now I can basically airdrop it to my other iPhone, my MacBook, I can uh, save it here, basically, so it'll go right back into my internal memory as well. So let me just go back into my photos here, my camera roll, and here's that photo that 
we just took. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, comment below. And again, this is iGIS 64 gig, and it's by a company called Olala. And thanks for watching.